What's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary from the Hunter Fan TV. Back at you, another video. Like the content is really go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content is channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Listen, uh, we're going to do this Ravens injury report. The injury report that was supposed to happen yesterday came out today. So it is kind of what I expected. Uh, everything got kind of got pushed a day back because the Ravens played on Monday Night Football this week. So let's talk about the injuries, all right? Did not practice today. Mark Andrews, Rashad Bateman, we'll get to him later. Uh, Calais Campbell, rest day. Gus Edwards, we know he has the hamstring. Justin Houston, veteran day. Ronnie Stanley, veteran day. So nothing to worry about there with those uh, with a couple of those guys. Now, Gus Edwards, we'll see what happens with him. And, you know, we want to see Gus back and healthy. We don't want to rush him. Uh, but, you know, we do we do miss Gus Edwards, right? All right, so practicing. Tyus Bowser, full. Josh Bynes, full. Marlon Humphrey, limited. David Ojabo, full. Marcus Peters, limited. All right. Now, Tyus Bowser, Harbaugh said that he is expected to play uh, on Monday night versus New Orleans Saints. How much? Don't know. But that is something that I kind of predicted yesterday. Just seeing that the path that he was on, it looked like he was getting closer and closer to the plan. So that's pretty much been confirmed by John Harbaugh. That we will, we will see Tyus Bowser on Monday, barring any injury, any setback. We'll see him, okay? Uh, Josh Bynes, that's good. You know, he's been banged up. We'll see what happens with his role now. Now that role conflict is here. But I still imagine Josh Bynes probably will play quite a bit as Roquan is starting to settle into a new system. At least for the next, you know, week or two. You know what I mean? Well, really, probably just this game because Ravens had the bye week after that. They broke point and get adjusted. Does it really play a more full on role? But for this game versus the Saints, I think we still see some Josh Bonds, all right? Uh, Marlon Humphrey, want to take it slow with him. Uh, David Ojabo, full practice again, so that's good. He's continuing to ramp up. I don't expect to see him this week, but it's good that he's ramping up, all right? Um, oh, one, one more thing. J.K. Dobbins. John Harbaugh said he had a successful surgery. The, the knee scope that he had was successful. And that uh, what well, he really didn't give a timeline for his return from what I saw. But successful surgery, so we'll see J.K. Dobbins back uh, at some point this year. Not sure when, but that's good news, all right? We got to get to the big news, though, all right? Rashad Bateman is having season-ending season ending Liz Frank surgery, okay? So his foot injury turned out to be way more severe than the Ravens uh, led on to be or the Ravens knew. Um... And now he's having to have to have season ending surgery. Apparently, it was one of those things where he could decide to play through it or not. And he, he said he talked, Harbaugh said that Bateman talked with his family, his agents, uh, things like that. And they decided it was best for him to have the surgery, right? I 100% agree with the decision. Rashad Bateman, you're a young player in this league. Have the surgery. Take care of your body. The money is coming down the line. All right. So, no problem with Rashad Bateman doing that. Uh, when you're a player, especially in the NFL, They'll tell you things like, yeah, play through it, be, be, be the guy for the team. And then if you don't produce, they'll hold that against you, right? That's how the league does it. So, Bateman, take care of your body, bro. You know, it's, it's, it's a huge blow for the Ravens, it honestly is, uh, and get healthy. Now, on the Ravens side of things, all right, uh, I'll probably include my tweet in here, something I really don't do, but, you know, y'all want to go follow me on, on, on my social media account, y'all can. I don't post too much, but uh, this is malpractice by the Baltimore Ravens, okay? Um... Knowing that season ending surgery was a possibility for, for Rashad Bateman and not doing anything about it um, in any capacity is bad business, right? Don't tell me they signed Deshaun Jackson. That was before. Don't tell me they signed Andy Isabella. That was before. And even if that was the moves, that's not enough. All right. The Ravens, you clearly say that you're, you're in win now mode, right? You traded a second and a fifth for Roquan Smith. Love the move. Don't not taking that trade back at all. I love the move. Okay. That first round pick needed to go to the Panthers for DJ Moore. You figure out how to make the cap work. Or even a Jerry Judy. I'm not I'm not even the biggest fan of Jerry Judy. Trust me, I'm not. But this is what I'm saying right here. Okay. You knew that Bateman had the possibility of being out, right? You knew that these targets that are left, you guys weren't playing very often. You knew that if you traded for somebody else, that you would have to play this guy. Right. And also, let's talk about this first round pick that we're going to cover so much. Right. The Ravens have a week back half of the schedule. They should win most of their games remaining. The Ravens will be in the playoffs. Um, going right now, it looks like the Ravens are on course to win the division, too. OK, so they're on course for a good season. So this first round pick you're giving up is probably going to be pick 20 or later. Right. We can say that pretty safely. OK, so with that being said, whatever player you were going to draft at pick 20 or later, probably. There's no definite in this game. Probably wasn't going to be better than DJ Moore, than Brandon Cooks, than Jerry Judy. Right? 
Because most of the time, these guys that are drafted at the end of the first round don't really have first round grades. They go in the first round because there's 32 selections, right? So if I'm the Ravens, I think I'm in the team I'm in, I'm in win now mode. I need I know my quarterback needs another weapon. I make that trade, knowing that it's a possibility. This Rashad Bateman news didn't hit him out of nowhere. Oh, we're surprised he decided to do this. You knew it was a possibility that he was going to have season ended surgery. All right. And listen, Harbaugh said yes uh, a couple days ago, right? When you talk about the trade deadline, it takes two to tango, right? And that's true, it does. But with these teams, if you're offering a first round pick, I know somebody would have jumped in and, and grabbed that offer, right? All right. Now, you never want to negotiate from a position of weakness. I get all of that. But if the Ravens were serious about trying to win a championship this year, Rashad Bateman was a big, big part of that. And there was a possibility that he was going to be gone for the rest of the season and they didn't act on it. Right? Playing Deshaun Jackson more snaps is not a resolution. And once again, no disrespect to Deshaun Jackson. I appreciate what he's done as a player in the past. He's 36 years old. He can't play 70, 75% of the snaps. That's not in his body to do that. It's just not. Nor should he be asked to do that. Okay? Um, I all, all season was a guy where I said the Ravens could add a receiver. But I also, I wouldn't mind they see that they, they let the young guys play. Excuse me, I couldn't get that out. Let the young guys play, right? Now we're here at that point. There are no more excuses for James Prochet, for Tylen Wallace to not see the field. There's no more there are no more excuses for Devin Duvernay not to get eight to ten touches a game. That needs to be a key focal focal point of this offense. The Ravens can no longer play how they've been playing and not include the receivers because you have to get these guys ready for action. Because when the playoffs come, they're going to be called upon. And if all season you guys have just been leaning on the run game to win these regular season games and coast by, when it's time to get to the playoffs and these guys don't have no rhythm, no time with Lamar Jackson, it's going to be an issue. It's going to be a repeat of 2019. So these young receivers, you need to let them play now. And they need to play often. They need to play a lot. That Tampa Bay game, you need to show it was no fluke, right? I said this before. Ricard was on the field about 50% of the snaps. That's kind of where he needs to stay at. All right? Before, he's been at 65, even 75% of the snaps. It's too much. And this is no sight to Patrick Ricard. He's a good player. He's a good fullback. But he doesn't need to play that much, okay? You need to get these receivers on the field, and you need to be able to get them involved in the offense. That's the only way that this season can be salvaged, right? Or there's one more name out there, and it's obviously it's Odell Beckham Jr. Now, will Odell Beckham come to the Ravens? Who knows? Um, he has the Bills after him, the Chiefs after him. Maybe not the Chiefs because they signed. They, they got Kadarius Tony in that trade. But the Chiefs probably still could be after him because they, they love wide receivers. So um, he'll have suitors, obviously. Uh, but if you're the Ravens, and obviously no trade can be made at this point, you need to be willing to pay OBJ what is necessary to get him in the building at least. At least. All right. Um, this Rashad Bateman news is a big deal. It's an even bigger deal because the Ravens weren't prepared for it. Um, I'm going to keep it honest with you guys. That's what I do, right? When the Ravens make a good move, Roquan Smith, that's a great trade. That's a good move. What they did in this wide receiver position, knowing that the possibility of Rashad Bateman was going to be out for the season and not acting on it, was a bad, bad business move. It just was, right? Now, if the, if the thought process was, okay, Bateman's going to miss a couple weeks, I got no problem standing pat at the deadline. He missed a couple weeks. These guys get rolling for a little bit. All right, cool. Bateman comes back. Shows back on the road. Bang. No issue with that. But y'all knew that there was a possibility that he would shut it down for the season. A high possibility that he would shut it down for the season. And y'all chose not to act. That's an issue for me. All right? Um, so listen. Listen, man. The Ravens are going to have to piece together a passing game. Greg Roman is going to have to do more what he did. Versus the second half in, in uh, Tampa Bay, which is be unpredictable, which is spread teams out, which is give space for guys like Duvernay to create. Isaiah likely needs to be on the field even more now. Josh Oliver, you've played well. I'm sorry. You don't, you, we don't need, really need to see you look like that anymore. We really don't. All right? It's not your fault. You know, you're a big blocking kind of tight end. You have some other listen to you, of course. But we need guys like Isaiah likely that are threats in the passing game on the field. All right? And on top of that, Mark Andrews is hurt too. I mean, I mentioned that I mentioned that earlier, obviously, but uh, we'll see if he play, We'll see if he plays on Monday or not. Uh, but the Ravens went about this trade deadline scenario completely wrong. 
knowing that there was a possibility that their wide receiver one would not be back. And that was a mistake. We'll see if this mistake ends up costing the Ravens in the end. And if it does, obviously we'll talk about it, man. But that's the entry report for today and a little uh, extra for me on the end. So uh, it's your boy Gabe with this one for TV. I'm out.